Hi guys, it is Laura and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Sims 4 Poverty to Plenty. I believe this is, has to be episode 17, right? Uh, maybe should have checked that before I started recording, but you know what? Too late now. <laughs> we are still here in the jungle because we're having a jungle adventure. Jungle adventure. Okay, um, with uh, Cody and Susanna. So uh, yeah, it's the afternoon and I feel like they're not going to spend the night in the jungle this night. It's their first night out here, but well, we still have a few good hours left. So uh, let's have Susanna actually excavate this dig site. She is already doing that because she uh, is an archaeology scholar right when they're here. You know, I changed their aspirations because I feel like it sort of makes sense, like you have some goals that you want to reach while you're on an adventure or a vacation. Cody's just playing his guitar, that's not really what I want him to do, but he'll have a little fun, which he really needs. So let's just let him do that. Oh. Oh, she was stung by bees, that's, that's true. But you know what, on the other hand, he should also really uh, clear the next path, because there's not much more to uh, to see here, right? Ooh, there's a path this way. Let's actually take that one. I don't know why, but I just felt like it. Look at these, like, flies or whatever. So beautiful. This world is quite stunning. Look at that. I love that. Go and take a picture of it. Can you even see it? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. So he's going to clear the path with his hands, because he has a high level of gardening skill. And Susanna, she, uh, she dug up everything from that site there, that's good. What did she get? An unauthenticated um, Omiskin skull. Alright. Fair. Do any of them have to pee? She could, she could take a leak in the, uh, in the bush here and then join Cody down here. Oh, there they are again. This, it's, it's kind of pretty, but I'm sort of thinking it's fireflies and, uh, I don't know, I believe you can sort of, uh, get attacked by those. Whatever. Look at this. What? Is that Liguana? So cute. I'm going to take pictures of you because you are so cute. That's funny, actually. If you ask me, kind of fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a lot of details in this world. We get that, Laura. Thank you. Very good. Cody, clearing the path. There he goes. Susanna is going to join him. That's pretty cool. Let's see if we can't just find a few more th uh, things while we're out here before we go back to the... Uh, to the town square and everything. Oh, Cody's actually not feeling too amazing, but you know what? Let's just go through the last uh, portal here. Actually, let's give Susanna one of these um, grilled cheese ready to eat because she's fairly hungry and she didn't have any of that in her inventory. So let's just have her eat that because that's certainly gonna satisfy her hunger so that she's not gonna feel so bad. There we go, that was good. Cody is still working at this, those vines. There we go. All right, so let's see what happens. Have uh, let's have Susanna travel through there as well. Oh, she can't while he's in there. Okay, mysterious egg. Cody is forging through the jungle when he almost trips over a large, strange-looking egg just lying on the jungle floor. Who knows what kind of creature is inside? Ooh. What should Cody do? Leave the egg alone. Examine the odd egg. Higher rocket science skill leads to better result. And he does not have the rocket science skill, so let's just leave the egg alone for now. The alien egg. As Cody leaves the egg behind, he notices something rustling in the shrubs nearby. A giant creature lunges its head out, spewing fire at Cody. He runs to safety and narrowly avoids getting singed. So that was pretty good. You know, I didn't want to risk it because I knew that his rocket science skill is like zero or maybe one. So I didn't want to do that because 
if those of you who have watched the Let's Play remember, he was a nerd brain for his aspiration, so he wanted to build a rocket, but you can't do that on a penthouse lot, so he'll have to wait to do that until he moves into a house. But that's why I know he doesn't have the rocket science skill, so that's pretty good. Travel through. Yes, please. So here they are, standing back to back. Cody is just checking out the sights. She's like, yeah, cool, baby. The way he stands, so he's a, like a little sloppy in his way of standing. Okay, whatever. That's fine, Cody. You're you're a nice guy. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's have uh, Susanna go and open that. What is this water? Oh my, this looks amazing. Wow. And I believe there are supposed to be crocodiles here, maybe. Oh, sounds like a riverboat of some sort. Cool. Okay, Cody seems to have some unexpected visitors. Spiders. There's no better time to pull out the Dr. Parkers, thinks Cody. Having the spider repellent ready to sh is sure to help ward off those unwelcome crawlers. Where are you, Cody? There he is. He's gonna spray the spiders, or he already did. Okay, so we couldn't see the spider, but they're probably pretty cute. Uh, let's just have Cody actually keep on playing his guitar because he really needs he really needs some fun, and uh, that's one way out here in the jungle that he can have that. Susanna found some wondrous items in the treasure chest. She gained some simoleons and put some adventure gear in her inventory. Oh, I didn't see how many simoleons though, but uh, she got a machete, which is which is cool. And there is, there's a dig site here, so let's have her excavate that. Oh, are those crocodiles? Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Ooh. Scary. Cool. Okay, I really like that. I think that's pretty good. Oh, and a little boat. I wish you could sail out in this boat and just... Oh, look at the colors of this world. Amazing! Alright, Susanna is excavating. Cody is playing his guitar in the middle of the jungle because that makes sense. And he's got the gained the singing skills because that also makes sense. Oh yeah, he I actually asked him to sing songs also, so that's good. Injured hands. Oh no. Okay, so maybe his gardening skill isn't high enough to uh, to actually clear the paths. So Susanna excavated three dig piles. That's great. Uh. And Cody reached level 2 of singing, which is also nice. Uh, while excavating in archaeological sites, Susanna found one ancient bone dust. Ooh, bone dust. Fancy. Let's see if there are any more uh, piles to excavate at this point. And if there aren't, let's maybe have these guys travel home, because I feel like they need to go and fix their needs. So I'm just gonna have them travel. Um, yeah, because that was... The first day in the jungle and you can't just stay out there forever at least you need to you need to find your way first you know you need to dip your feet in the water before you just jump in is what i say i don't know about you but that's just how i feel about it uh so yeah let's let's have them rest up and take care of their needs i i don't really know actually why susanna's needs are so great while cody is just feeling miserable all the time but, uh, yeah, like maybe it's fun for Susanna to actually dig up those uh, piles while Cody, he doesn't really get any fun. He's also super tired. Why isn't she tired? I, I don't really understand. Fair enough. Let's, uh, Cody is really the one who uh, is having issues. He needs to go pee, but I feel like we should go to the marketplace and have him get a Salvadoradian meal because... That's one of the things that he needs to do for his aspiration. And I think that sort of makes sense. So, uh, oh, he just farted. <laughs> All right, that's great. But that means we have to travel again. So 
let's let's just do that you know I'm yeah I'm sorry a lot of loading screen here I am actually in the market for a new computer uh, so that maybe my sims can run a little bit faster I'm hoping for that so yeah but I just have to figure out what I want you know uh, and it can be difficult I'm not really a computer whiz of any sort so I'm not quite sure what I actually need or want or whatever it's a it's it's a desktop that I'm looking for, not a laptop. I would, I don't know why, but I would never buy a laptop for for gaming. Like if you can call The Sims for gaming, but I do also play other games. Whatever. Enough about my uh, my computer needs. We are here now at the cantina, and I would love Cody, love for Cody to order a meal here, order some food, because he really needs to. Uh, eat some Salvadoradian food and let's have him have one of the more expensive meals even though they're still very cheap because I hope then they will be a little bit bigger. While he does that Susanna can actually go and buy a lot of the stuff here or maybe she should just uh, haggle first. Yes, let's have her haggle. I feel like her charisma skill, oh it's pretty good. You drive a hard bargain. Tell you what, I'll give you 25% off on anything in this table. In this table? Okay. Uh, how about that? Yeah. So let's just maybe just buy all of it, actually. Fire foam. Ooh. This foam provides all the oxygen deprivation you need without all the rolling around. Caution. Children cannot use this. It contains chemicals hazardous to their health. Wow, but let's just have Susanna. I know we spend a lot of money at these uh, at these little tables, but I feel like it's important to be stocked up for the jungle, and we can always just sell some of this stuff afterwards if we don't need them. Lightning insulation powder. Wow. And a few showers. I think that's something we really need. And what about Cody? Oh yes. He uh, cleared the first tier of the aspiration. Oh, cute little kitty. Um, I really like that they added strays to this world, actually. I don't know if you've noticed, but that has not been something they added into the um, the existing neighborhoods. But it seems like at this uh, cantina, at least, there are always there's always a cat. So that's pretty cute. Interaction between the packs, I really like that. Uh, let's see, what are his new aspiration goals? So, achieve level 3 in the Salvadoradian culture skill, find an area off the path, examine 3 traps. Alright, that should be fairly easy. Let's just have him do the Salvadoradian uh, greeting there. And Susanna is just gonna keep on buying stuff. Let's get all the adventure gear that we possibly can. What's this one? That's the energy and some food as well. I feel like Cody has a few of those liquid rush cans. Yeah, four. That's good. So they should be equipped to stay in the jungle for a few days the next time they go out there. Which is really nice. Oh, someone needs to uh, man this table. I really want that machete though. That's annoying. Okay. But while Cody is chatting up the locals, Susanna can actually just... Uh, can she pop up this table? She actually can. Very good. And then she wants to uncover an artifact from a dirt clump. Does she have any dirt clumps? Ah, uh, no, she doesn't. But she could still... Could she examine this? Okay, no, doesn't seem like it. All right. So Cody is gonna have to try and get his uh, his skill up a little bit, his Salvadoradian culture skill. Learn about the history of the local gods. Ask about the jungle. Very nice. Whoa, that uh, <laughs> that vendor is really really shouting over here, huh? Ba -ba -ba -ba. Stuck up on adventure gear. Yeah, I think we read that already. 
and he reached level 3 of his Salvadoradian culture skill. He has started to perfect that local salutation as, and has developed a taste for the local food. Cody has unlocked new Latin guitar songs. That's great, because he actually knows how to play guitar. Uh, so, yeah. Let's actually have Cody go back home, because he is just beat. But I feel like Susanna... Ah, she's feeling kind of alright, so let's have her actually stay at the cantina for a little while, maybe go dance a little bit. Can can uh, can she buy some food? No. Make a pet drink. Okay. Uh, let's buy some food for this guy. No, not order drink. Oh. Order food, order food. The reason why I wanted to send Cody home is that the, then he will take care of his needs actually way more efficiently than I can. Like when, when your sims, you're not controlling your sims, they just take care of themselves in a way better way. You know? I don't know why. So... Yeah. He's sleeping, that's good. And Susanna is just... Enjoying some quiet, you know, these guys went on this trip together very early in their relationship and maybe they're not really used to being together 24-7. Maybe she just needs a little moment of quiet when she can sit here, watch the beautiful, like, look at this place. It's just so amazing. I really, I really like this. Look at that. That's a sight to be seen. I, I think this square is really beautiful. Why is she uncomfortable? Ah, from all the flavor in the cu cuisine. That's fair. Let's have her maybe go and... Ooh. Toss a coin in the fountain, actually. That's... That's rather fun. Let's just check it out while she does it. Oh, sorry. There we go. No, we can't do that. Okay. Yep. Ooh, that was exciting. Wow, she was really excited about that. That's that's kind of funny. What's actually upstairs in this cantina? I haven't even really looked at it. Okay, nothing much. Just a platform with some pots on it. Fair enough. An outdoor dining area. And then the actual bar and some, some bathrooms. Alright. Uh, so let's have her maybe go dance in the cantina. Where not there music in here? Ah, there it is. Oh yeah. Ooh, look at this guy. Maybe he's like, ooh. Beautiful girl, new tourist. She's having fun on her vacation. Okay, but it's one o'clock in the morning and uh, even though they live very close by, so it's like, she's, she's never too far away. Let's have her go home because that's just, it's getting late. Uh. She's feeling happy from tossing a coin for good luck. And they say money can't buy happiness. Yeah, they do say that, but eh, they're not always right. At least to some extent. Okay, that's a philosophical discussion that we're not going to get into in this LP. Like, that makes no sense. But yeah, let's just load this uh, vacation home back up. See how Cody is doing with his needs. And then uh, maybe tomorrow we can just... Relax a little bit. Cody can uh, can work on some guitar playing skills. Maybe I think he should learn some local songs. That's sort of part of being on a long trip, you know, just taking in the culture for real. And Susanna can work on uh, her archaeological skill. I believe Cody has some items in her inventory that that she can uh, actually take care of. Why is Cody just standing outside the house? Did he not sleep at all? Oh yeah, he did. That's that's so strange. Ooh, well you know what, you guys? 
Maybe this was such a romantic day out in the jungle that they are gonna have their first little romantic encounter here. Let's just flatter her a little bit. He's like, I'm so happy you came with me. Thank you so much. You're the best. I, I really like you. And she's like, oh yeah, I, I, I like you too, Cody. You're, you're so, you're so nice. Oh. Oof. I really like it when they kiss when he's wearing that hat because it's like they're hiding behind the hat. I think that's pretty cute. So let's have them actually go and have some first time woohoo. It's exciting you guys. It's really oh she's super tired. You know what? It'll be fine. It'll be fine. She's gonna be do she's she's gonna be fine. Let's see it. Ooh, we can look in the window. <laughs> That's funny. Both chaining into their night gear and being like, Ooh, break out the candles. Make it romantic. Susanna and Cody are woohooing for the first time. Yeah, both of... It's, it's their first time, both of them. And it's with each other. I think that's pretty cute. Very nice. Okay, let's, let's back up a little bit. <laughs> Oof. That was great. Yeah, Cody, you should definitely sleep some too, you know? It's it's late. Very good. Alright, so... This... During the day today, I feel like uh, we're gonna have Susanna look at some of these artifacts. And Cody is just, as I said, gonna practice his guitar playing. Uh, yeah, so it may be a little bit, uh, it may be a little bit boring, so I, I feel like I'm gonna end this episode here, and I'm, I'll be back when I have uh, worked with these guys just a little bit, and then they will go back to the jungle. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm really excited to, uh, to check out all the jungle adventure stuff with you guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks so much, and I'll see you in another episode. Bye!